Hi, good morning. I'm Brett with Video Hot Rod here with another Final Cut Pro X filter. Today we are going over security. It's supposed to look like a security camera. Uh, probably this one would be the best clip for it. It looks like a drone flying over and spying on people. Okay, for your options on this one, there, there's this one's actually kind of complicated. Um, there are a lot of different options. First off, you have the amount, and it's just going to be the blending between this and that. But what's interesting is, watch what happens after we get up beyond 50%. You get this kind of bulge. And the reason is because a lot of security cameras are a, a wide-angle lens. And so it adds that bulge to make it look like it's a wide-angle lens. Um, this might actually look really cool on GoPro footage. And not with a wide angle lens. Probably get it up to about 50 and leave it there. That's what it does. Kind of gives it that wide angle lens look. All right, you have saturation. Most of the nighttime security footage cameras are in black and white. A lot of the daytime ones nowadays are in color and they look like that, which is terrible, but they look like that. Although it's really not that bad. Let's take this back down to 50 so we don't have that wide angle look. Okay. You also have a contrast. And contrast just does what contrast does. Makes, makes the difference between black and white brighter. So here you can see some detail in her dress and some of the lines. Whereas we bring the contrast up, we can't even see the lines anymore. Scan lines is the difference between the two scan lines. You go too dark. You probably get something like that. It might look pretty good. Maybe something like that. It's up to you. It's your your video. You do what you want. Degrade is gonna make it look all blocky and terrible because a lot of security cameras aren't that great. Vignette's going to give you dark edges. Okay, this is the fun part. Showtime. It's not showtime, it's show the time. This is the time. You can do no time, short time, medium time, or long time. That's long time, and it's going to have minutes and seconds and all that stuff. So. You can change that to medium time. The difference between them are short time is just the time. Medium time is the time with the seconds. And long time is going to have Pacific Daylight Time. I think they all have AM or PM. Yeah, and AM or PM. Okay, show date. This is it. You have different options. You have none, short, medium, long, and full. Medium is going to give you an abbreviation of the month. This was done on April Fool's Day of 2014. This one is not going to abbreviate the month anymore. So if we had changed this to nine. <laughs> this is the longest month I can think of. Full, you get the day everything and what's interesting is let's say i want completely random date it's going to change that now if i go you can see how it changes the day i don't have to worry about that okay here is where you change the values of things Right, And then you can turn the label of the camera off. This is the label, and you can put whatever. Floating ghosty camera on a ghosty. Okay. 
On a ghosty? No, I wanted to say ghosty that's cute, not ghosty with a Y. Gotta be the Canadian style. There we go. Alright. And then, if you change the date and time position to the bottom, I recommend you not having a label. Okay. That's it. That's the security filter. It's fun to use. Um, I think I used it once. But I haven't had any purpose for it. Anyway. So there you go. That's the security filter. Next we'll go over the seasons filter. And this one's kind of fun. All right. I'm Brett from Video Hot Rod. Thank you very much for watching and click those buttons. Feel free to leave me a comment if you like. Thank you.